Thanks to all of our camps and sponsors for a great summer of making. We saw campers making, crafting, packing, and tinkering their way through the summer. They courageously worked through failures and challenges as they realized their creative visions. Over 800 camps from all over the world came together to build a dynamic learning community that supported camp leaders and campers as they developed their maker mindset and passion for science, technology, art, engineering, and math through their projects. We had the pleasure of visiting a camp to see all of this happening in real time with a highly energized group of campers and leaders and have seen that amplified throughout the world all summer long through the creativity that was shared in our camp community. My name is Celeste Zell. I am co-owner of Golden Gate Learning Center. Uh, we run a camp, a maker camp every summer for eight to 10 weeks. So in all of the different components, they do different projects based on our theme. So this week's theme, for example, is Dimensions. So we've been studying the great minds of the Renaissance, including Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, I get it, I see. So today, we're building an anemometer. It is uh, a wind speed indicator. It spins in, uh, in place as the wind increases. It spins faster. The anemometer existed before the Renaissance, but uh, Leonardo da Vinci is credited with its improvement. And I wanted to uh, have the kids have an opportunity to make something like that that could be in their backyard and they could see uh, how the, uh, the wind speed is, um, is changing over time. They uh, use a magnet to uh, keep it upright so it spins freely uh, and also have a circuit on it that uh, allows it to light up in the nighttime. Uh, and they can still see the speed of the wind uh, even out their window uh, without, uh, without any light on it. They made a camera obscura today, so a little science in their art too. So, um, no, what's it called? Um, a, a camera obscura. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say. Do you want to try that out? Cheese. The camera obscura was likely invented in the Renaissance uh, around the same time that the telescope was invented. You see stuff upside down, but you see really stuff from really close. Okay, does everybody have paper in their camera? Yeah. Yeah. An artist uh, named Vermeer likely used a camera obscura to uh, paint his scenes um, with great accuracy. Uh, so the camera obscura does not have its own developing film. You are the developer uh, and you actually uh, paint what you see. We really believe that learning is much more memorable when kids are actually doing the learning themselves, like the discovering what they're learning. Um, you know, telling a student, for example, about a scientist is, is small compared to them being able to create the apparatus that that scientist created. It's hot, isn't that crazy? As they do a project, they can retain it so much more because they have the context and they have that hard set um, connection to what they've done with their hands. Let's all keep making, connecting, and amplifying together.